How's it going everybody? Ray here and I'm back with another video. This is completely unscripted but I wanted to sort of sit down and talk to you guys about the recent TF2 update. So I've gotten a chance to play with it, to mess around with it a little bit. I was gone this weekend, I was gone to Malaysia and I was just relaxing and it was a nice break, it was a nice uh, sort of change of pace and not messing around with YouTube or with anything of that sort. So I got a taste of relaxation on that one and coming back and playing the tough break update it's definitely nice uh, my opinion on it because everyone always wants to hear the youtubers opinion for some reason even though I'm not that big but I guess I do have my fair share of uh, TF2 knowledge and TF2 experience and uh, sort of playing TF2 for six years now I just wanted to tell you guys what I thought about the update. So first things first, the contracts are very nice. I played, I finished four contracts up until this point and um, one definitive thing that I liked was the fact that they have weapon specific contracts which definitely makes things a lot more interesting. For example, I played a, a contract with Soldier recently and uh, that thing where you could equip the airstrike and the base jumper and just get all the points for getting kills while you're in the air. I mean, it was really cheap, right? So now what they have is you can use the direct hit or you have a black box contract, which is fun because, you know, when you're playing with these weapons that you don't usually play with, it's nice to sort of have that in the mix and have a more challenging sort of contract now even though I did play a little bit around and uh, I got like the black box contract I got points for healing a hundred like health points in one life which I don't know that finished up really fast I didn't know what I was even doing and it was easy so I don't know these contracts could still use a little bit more of challenge but as they are right now I still find them interesting I still find them fun and they're, it's definitely an improvement on the on the past contracts that we had during gunmetal over the summer. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about the maps. This is just a brief overview but my favorite map as it is so far is probably Landfall which is to capture the flag map and it's very nice. I like the aesthetics a lot. I like the trees. I like the sort of uh, top base area that you can go like that's around the main tree at the center of the map where you can go towards the different the two different spawns and it's very cool except one thing that I really don't like about it is where the intelligence is placed where naturally with CTF maps you'd have so many engineers around the sentries but um, you know I, I don't know it's just that you go and then there's like three sentries you have to fight and it's just all concentrated around one area and the, the way the intelligence is located in like the middle of nothing and it's so close to their spawn and it's so weird it's that's the thing it's too close to their spawn i it's hard to like actually get it and a lot of these maps what happens is that there's a huge stalemate so it really sucks i i didn't like that part but aesthetically and and i guess i guess the gameplay is also pretty cool on the map pretty fun it's nice to play on that map it's a nice map landfall Definitely my favorite one, despite all the other negative aspects to it. I did want to keep this sort of short, because at this point, I might as well jump on the late train, because I probably will never be able to cover an update as soon as it comes out. I'm just not that kind of dude. And lately, I've been looking at my videos, and I've been thinking, okay, let's just let's look at it. Let's look at it this way. Let's try and improve it. Let's try and make it a better video. What can I do to make this a better video? And lastly... Not lastly, but recently, I checked my previous video, the Huntsman, the Basically Huntsman video, and I had people ask me, why did you name it Basically Huntsman? Because it reminds me of a certain YouTuber that we all know. Well, I don't know why I named it that way. I, I did feel bad naming it that way, but at the same time, I also had no idea what to name it. And it's those kinds of videos that I'm talking about. That video, I put a lot of effort in the editing. I thought the editing was good, but at the same time, I recorded it, I edited it, I rendered it, and I uploaded it all in the same day. And that says a lot about a video. Look at Star. Okay, let's talk about Star for a second. I've been reading a lot of his blog posts as well, and he's been saying that, okay, I've been looking a lot about at the Sweet Genius, ah, Sweet Genius video. I liked how it's sort of progressed now, but the only reason it's been getting the views is because it's on the top, like, it's on the main, uh, it's the main featured video on my channel and uh, it's like clickbait where like not clickbait but people click on it and they don't actually watch it and that's why it's been racking up stacks you know so 
it's sort of like that. I mean, I don't want to make videos that I render in one day and I upload in one day. And I've been looking a lot at that. And uh, this video, again, I wanted to sort of talk about the update because I feel like it's a sin if I don't. So here I am talking about it. But at the same time... I want to make sure it's a good video, and at least if it's just a post-gameplay commentary like it is now, I want it to just be, like, I want to feel like I put in the effort and that it's not just edited quickly in all in one day, although this video probably will be exactly just that, because it's pretty easy to put, co like, gameplay behind this and just talk, as I'm doing right now, so... Despite this, that's just a little bit sidetracking about my channel. Next thing that I want to talk about, guys, guys, I, I can't, I can't comprehend, guys. What did Valve do to the Pyro? Everyone's been talking about this, and you better, like, enjoy it while you can, or suffer it while you can, because lately, I've just been dying to Pyros. You don't know how bad it's been, because now, with the flog, Everyone that's playing Pyro, if they're playing Pyro, is using a flog. What? Why? Why did Valve do this? I don't know why Valve did this. And this makes me think that the developers of this game don't don't even play the game. Everybody knows this. This is why I don't play Pyro often because in my personal experience and from what I have done with the Pyro... It's an easy class to get the hang of. The only thing you actually really have to focus on is air blasting, which you can definitely do if you just practice it. That's the only main concept with the pyro. I mean, I'm just going to walk it, dudes, with the flames and hope something happens, and that's what the flog is. It's just hoping something happens, but it's adding an uber charge on top of that. It's adding an uber charge. Why, why, why would he need to be ubered as well when he's already getting full HP when you're taunting? Why? You can just walk at dudes and get like 30 kills. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know why they would do this. I really don't. I really don't. And that's my main thing about this update. Why? I mean, sure, it's a blunder on their side. It definitely is. But really, just just why? I don't see the logic. I mean, the flog was already as overpowered as it was. And really, the fact that you can't air blast, which to me, that's another reason why I don't use it. I hate not being able to air blast because it just makes the pyro look like a major dickwad. You're going at people and they're on fire in front of you. And sorry, I'm using the flog. And yeah, you could use the man melter, but... Who uses it? That's all that you need to say about it. Who uses it? They should really actually be looking at the Man Melter and buffing that up because no one uses it. I've not seen a Pyro use it in conjuncture with the Flog because I feel like the people that use the Flog... Oh, God. They probably just don't play Pyro enough. Anyway, this video... What am I at? I'm already at 8 minutes, so this is probably going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed the video in the background. I don't yet know what I'm going to be including, but I'll probably make a follow-up to this, talking more about the maps and stuff. So, if you've enjoyed this, please... Ah, eh, don't give it a like, but, you know, comment, actually. I'd rather you comment. I'd rather you give me feedback on other things that you want to see in future videos and... We're already hitting 600 subs. I don't know when this happened. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm also streaming on Twitch right now. I'm using my alternate gaming PC. Um, yeah, I mean, this it has been previously used for movies by my dad. It's actually his technically. So when I have the chance this break, I will be streaming. Hop on there. I figured out OBS settings today. I do have a past stream you can go watch. The link will be in the description below. Peace out, guys. See you next time. I wanna dance by water near the Mexican skies. Drink some margaritas by the blue lights. Listen to the Mariachi play at midnight. Are you with me? Are you with me?